Hi, this is Gary Rubenstein, and I'm presenting a series of short lectures that will uh, culminate in the development of the general uh, cubic equation and general quartic equation uh, published by uh, Cardano and Ferrari in the year 1515. We're going to start with uh, quadratic equations, beginning with um, a basic one such as x squared minus 9x plus 8 equals 0. Some quadratic equations are easier than others. And this is an example of one of them because this one is factorable. It factors to x minus 1 times x minus 8 equals 0. And the multiplication property of 0 tells us that either x minus 1 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0, giving us the two answers to this question, x equals 1 or x equals 8. Now, other quadratic equations aren't as easy. For instance, this one, x squared minus 40x plus 8 equals 0. Uh, this one's not factorable. We could use the quadratic formula for it, but I'm going to show how you can do it with the completing the square process. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because eventually we're going to learn how to do cubic equations and although there is a long formula for cubic equations, um, understanding the process of doing cubics um, makes it so you don't need the formula. Just like if you know the process of completing the square, you don't need the quadratic formula. Anyway, the way completing the square works is uh, we can subtract 8 from both sides. Now, the thing on the left side is not a perfect square. It's only a perfect square if this uh, C term here is the square of half of the B term. In this case, it would be uh, ha half of negative 40 is negative 20 squared is 400. And if you add 400 to the left side, you have to add 400 to the right side also. Now the left side is a perfect square trinomial, it's actually x minus 20 squared, and the right side is positive 392. Then you can take the square root of both sides to get x minus 20 is plus or minus the square root of 392, or x equals 20 plus or minus the square root of 392. Uh, one more example before we move on to our cubics is a question that's going to become relevant uh, later, but for now it's just another cubic equation, sorry, quadratic equation, 380x plus 2,197 equals 0. Uh, for this one, we'll use the quadratic formula. So to refresh your memory, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In this case, x equals 380 plus or minus the square root of um, 380 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2197 happens to be uh, 135,612 over 2. This thing could actually be simplified a little bit further. Because this 135,612 
is divisible by 4. I can pull out the 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so I would get this. 2 times the square root of 33,903 over 2, which becomes 190 plus or minus the square root of 33,903. Now these, um, these examples could all be turned into decimal approximations also, but these are, these are the exact answers right now. Now our goal is to get cubic equations and quartic equations, but um, before we do that I'm going to show you how certain equations of higher degrees are actually not much more difficult to solve than quadratic equations. And here's an example of one. It's actually a, a sixth degree equation. x to the six minus nine x to the third plus eight equals zero. Now in general, a six-degree equation is very difficult to solve. Actually, uh, there is no general formula for anything beyond fifth degree. But certain uh, higher degree equations have uh, shortcuts to them. In this case, if you ever notice that the exponent of the highest exponent is double the uh, next highest exponent, and the last term, the third term, is just a constant, Sometimes we call this a quadratic in x cubed. In other words, this can be written as x cubed squared minus 9 x cubed plus 8 equals 0. And this is very similar to the very first question we did. It can be factored into x cubed minus 1, x cubed minus 8 which means x cubed equals 1 or x equals 1 or x cubed equals 8 or x equals 2. So it's very similar to the to the first question we did. Uh, by the same reasoning I can create an equation similar to the uh, third question that we did. If you saw the equation x to the 6 minus 380x to the third plus 2,197. Now, this again is a quadratic in x to the third, since this exponent is double the middle one. And I'll do this one with the quadratic formula. But instead of x equals, we get x cubed equals negative b plus or minus the square root. You might remember from before b squared minus 4ac became 135612 over 2. x cubed ends up ended up becoming 190 plus or minus the square root of 33903 which means x actually ended up equaling, once you take the cube root of both sides, you get this kind of complicated looking expression that has the cube root of 190 plus the square root of 33903. And you have your other answer, x equals the cube root of 190 minus the square root of 33903. Oh, three. Now these are pretty unusual looking nested radicals, but you're going to see that they're going to uh, be very common when we get to solving cubic equations in the next uh, section of this uh, lecture series. So we've completed part one now, which just was a review of um, solving quadratic equations by factoring, solving quadratic equations by completing the square, solving quadratic equations by using the, the quadratic formula, and solving related sixth degree equations that had just x to the sixth, x to the third, and constants.